so freaky She go crazy when she see me All I want is breathe, breathe Yo what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video on this channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can do that insane effect Just before we get into it if you can just drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on that would be highly appreciated thank you so much And also I've just dropped my new insane 4 dollars editing pack it's so cheap with the amount of content you get and I cannot recommend it anymore Everyone that's bought it has been very happy with what they received there's so many presets overlays items everything that you need to become a better editor so make sure to go ahead and check it out And that being said let's get straight into the video Right guys, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is just find where that first frame is where the damage pops up. So in my case it's right here, we're going to go ahead and split the clip and delete the rest. Then you want to press M on the keyboard to create a marker on the beat drop and just drag that frame across to there. And then you can just extend this out, add the transition from the previous clip or whatever you want. But this is mainly focusing on the effect itself. So from here you want to go minus 50 frames back and then go ahead and split the clip. Now sometimes Vegas will glitch and go minus 100 frames back. If it does do that, you can check by checking the frame count. As you can see, there's 50 different here. But if it does go 100 frames back, instead just type here, minus 25, and that'll fix everything for you. Then from here, you wanna go ahead and apply the preset. Everything that you need for this video is gonna be in the pinned comment. So I'm gonna pin that comment, and it's gonna have the link for everything that you need. Go ahead and download that. As you can see, the first thing is gonna be this preset here. Go ahead and apply this. And as you can see, you're going to have your really nice build up and RGB impact. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is add the particles themselves. Go ahead and remove the audio layer, delete that and delete the audio layer itself. Then go into the compositing mode and make sure this is on lighten so it removes the background. Go ahead and split the clip after the uh, clip. And then you want to go ahead and drag this onto where the uh, build up starts. And where the impact is, you want to split that and delete the rest. Then from here, we're just going to slowly fade this in and then you can right click on the fade and put this to a slow fade. Then go on to the presets and we're going to use the second preset, which is the tarot particles color change. And as you can see, this is going to change the color along with the uh, actual preset on the kilt itself. Now we're going to go ahead and split the clip on the audio where the beat drop is. Remove these automatic fades. Then you just want to fade this out nicely. And then you also want to drag this across until it's just where the build up starts. And that's just going to add a nice music pause in the background of the clip. So yeah guys, that's basically the Vegas version. And now let's hop into Premiere Pro. Alright guys, so moving on to Premiere Pro. First thing you want to go ahead and do, like Vegas, is just create a marker by pressing M on your keyboard to the main beat drop or the beat drop of the song that you want to go ahead and use. Find the first frame where that damage pops up. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and click on the clip. We're going to do Control and K to split it. And then we're going to go ahead and move minus 50 frames back. So you just want to press your arrow key 50 times to the left, basically, like so. So you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Then from this point right here, you want to go ahead and press Control K to split the clip again. And then we're going to go in the presets again. Everything, all the presets you need for this video are going to be in that pinned comment in the link right there. I'm going to go ahead and drag on the Tarot Multicolor build up 50 frames. And as you can see, that's going to have your cool multicolor whatever on there. Once you've gone ahead and added the preset onto the build up, you're going to go ahead and now add it onto the impact, which is where you first put the clip where the marker is. Go ahead and apply the Tarot Soft Glow impact. And that's going to add a very nice impact onto the kill afterwards. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add our particles. So go ahead and add the particles, which are also in the Google Drive below. As you can see, they're low key small. So you just want to go ahead and go onto the uh where we're position and then just drag this up so it fits the whole screen like so you can make it a little bit bigger if you want uh split it where there's a lot of particles on the screen by pressing ctrl k delete that and then drag this where the build up starts uh like so then just go ahead and go to where the impact is about to begin and ctrl k delete the rest there then from this, what you want to go ahead and do is go on to the uh, blend mode. Go ahead and put this on to lighten, as you can see, so you can remove all of that. And then you basically just want to go ahead and go on to hue sap bright. Drag and drop this on here. And then you basically want to go ahead and click on the effect below. Find where the hue sap bright starts, which is right here. Then keep it at this exact same point. Make sure that this is on like so um, and then basically you want to go back onto this effect because um, you're at the same point still you can then keyframe the hue shift go to the end and put this up to one and that's basically just going to go ahead and change the colors along with the actual clip itself 
Once you've gone ahead and done all of that with the overlay, the effects, with the presets, you're basically done. You can go ahead and add your sound effects and transitions, all that stuff if you want to go ahead and do that. Thanks guys so much for watching the whole video. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my editing pack link in the description. Trust me, it's so, so good. So stacked for only $4.99. It's extremely good value for money. And yeah, trust me, you will just not regret it. It's got everything you need. Also, at 3,000 supporters using code Tara in the item shop, I'm still doing a free edit pack. So make sure to use code Tara because it does reset every single month. So just make sure you know you've got code Tara in there. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one, boys. Peace. Hey.